So this uh, this program is quite a simple little program, but it does demonstrate um, how different loops work, how the different uh, conditional loops work, and how count controlled work. So it's a really good example, a nice simple example. So all you've got to do is write an algorithm, draw a flow chart that will calculate the sum of a given sequence of numbers. So it's just got to add up these numbers, giving you obviously 15 is your answer. Um, show all the different methods, the while loops, the loop, and the do loop. So to do this, we sort of need to understand the different types of loop. So if we start off with the for loop, okay. So this is what we refer to as a count controlled loop. We do that. We use this when we need when we need to do something a, a fixed number of times. We know how many times something is going to happen. So we're setting the sum to zero. We've got number as our counter as number increments and number is one. Add it to the sum as so if one. Add it to the sum, so three, add it to the sum, add it to the sum, add it to the sum, and so on, and it'll output the answer. So if we run that, we should have on our console, we have 15 as our answer. So that's working fine. So that's the that's the method using a for loop. Note there's no need to increment the counter because it's all part of this for loop that's in here. Okay. The the second method we're going to look at actually is this one here. So this is the while loop. Okay, so while loops are count controlled loops. The point of a while loop is it checks a condition first. So it comes down, it says, is uh, is number less than five? No, it says it's one, no it's not. And it will do this, keep incrementing here, look, the number until it gets to five. So it'll do the same thing. But the, per the point to note here is the condition is checked first. So if this condition is not met, then, um, it will run if it is met it won't run so it will always run uh, sorry it, it could run zero times depending on whether the condition is right or not so in this case it's going to run it's going to give us 15 it's going to give us the same answer so a while loop always checks condition first and only runs if that condition is true the last type of loop that you come across again it's a conditional loop is this is a do loop so a do while loop works opposite way around. It runs at least once and then checks the condition at the end. So you use this type of loop where you know something's going to happen at least once, but may happen multiple times. So in this case, we set the num, we set the sum, but we do the same sort of stuff. Look, so add it up, increment thing, check the condition, and back round again. So where a while loop, to while, so where a while loop checks the condition at the top. And may never run depending on the condition. A do loop checks condition at the bottom, so it'll run at least one time. So that's the difference between for loops, while loops, and conditional uh, while loops and do while loops. And we run that last one, and we get a 15. The the setup inside them look is the same condition, less than or equal to five. And this one here, less than or equal to five. So these two work exactly the same way it's the same thing but notice while loop condition checked at the top do while loop condition checked at the bottom hope that helps if it does like and subscribe if it really helps buy me a coffee